GPT Vision is able to view image. This is of a great importance for us architects because we handle image all the time. We handle map, we handle section, we handle 3D. So if ChatGPT is able to view our image, analyze it and give us some interesting fact about it, it's of a great help. So we are going to see in this video what we can do right now with ChatGPT Vision, the part of ChatGPT that allow to see and analyze image. And we are going to see to take a few examples to explain what we can do right now in architecture. But meanwhile, if you are interested by the thematic of AI and ChatGPT for architecture, you could subscribe to this channel. We are going to release much more video about this thematic. And soon I will release a course about ChatGPT for architects. In this course, you will find some explanation about how to use it, how to configure it, how to do some good pr prompt for architecture. And also I will even share my library of prompts so you could discover all the common usage that we can do right now in architecture with ChatGPT. So if you are interested, please subscribe and I'll notify you when I release. So now we are going to move to my screen. Hello, so now we are in ChatGPT, so the version ChatGPT4. Uh, you need this version if you want to use uh, ChatGPT Vision, to have the plugin, to have all the updates. So I highly recommend you to upgrade to, to this version. Uh, so here you have uh, this icon that uh, show uh, that you, you could upload some files, some images, some PDF files. And uh, we are going to uh, to try as a different scenario as an architect that we can use to determine the limit of ChatGPT vision. So we are an architect and we are going to build in a French city, uh, which name is Clermont-Ferrand, uh, which is in the south uh, east of France. And uh, I highlighted uh, in the location of the site I'm going to build here with a red uh, circle. And I'm going to 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 see uh, to evaluate what what he can understand or any. Okay, so he, he suggests uh, me to uh, to help me to to locate this image. Uh, can you locate this image? <laughs> this image. So here he don't know it is in French. So maybe the is a screenshot from a mapping service, but without internet access, can't perform live search to look at it. Okay. Okay. So it, this means that, uh, of course, he, he didn't uh, access directly the, the web to get some more information. There are some plugins in ChatGPT that allow to access, uh, to do some browsing, a specific browsing, maybe uh, in uh, an API of, uh, of localization. But currently, I didn't enable it. Uh, so probably for that, he cannot do. But he identifies the, the name in French. Uh, OK, so uh, so he has some data here. Uh, maybe we can uh, rue. OK. Um, uh, what is the approximate size of the plot? So I want him to calculate uh, the size according to the image. To know the scale of the map or to have a reference measurement like the length of a known run segment. Ah, okay. So it gives us uh, some information about how I can, I can do that. So I will um, I will try to have uh, this information. So here I have a Google map. I will try with another map uh, with the information. OK. So here I go back to uh, ChatGPT and I share a new map. Sorry.
So here I share the new map uh, of uh, also uh, a place near Paris. But here we have uh, a scale. So will it understand the scale? We'll see. Um, the image you've provided is another map shot. Okay. So I think uh, even if he is probably able to do it because here there is a scale, I think he, he don't do it because it will be uh, quite uh, intensive in resource. I suppose that. So it's not possible to calculate a map. Basically, it's possible to analyze an image and to see what's inside. Uh, maybe. Um, what type of building do you identify? Okay, for an accurate identification, one would also use uh okay with various building roads and water canal okay he, he, don't, he identifies the main thing but not uh not else uh, can you list the label in this map so i want him to uh, just list the label the textual label here Chemin lateral, chemin du halage, okay, a lot of uh, place name. So I think to identify uh, to read text is quite good. Uh, so for example, you could uh, you could use it to recognize the title of a book if you you make a photo of a book. So this he can do, but he cannot do uh, some measurement, something like this. So now we are going to pass to another example, which is uh, more urban uh, usage. Uh, it's a photo of Central Park. So what we can ask to ChatGPT Vision about it? Uh, maybe uh, okay, you recognize the photo, which is uh, which is great. After. I want to ask him to calculate or to analyze more precisely something. Uh, what can I ask him? Um, maybe I will ask him to count the building in the side of the park. Can you count the building that are at the border of the park? I think my spelling error will not be a problem for him, but don't allow for an accurate count of the building. Okay. Okay, so here he explained why. Uh, if we if we zoom even manually, it's a bit difficult to identify each uh, individual uh, building. And uh, so, so probably he will be able to do that. But if we have a detailed map with a clear uh, distinction uh, between each building. So, OK, he can recognize the city. He cannot really calculate. But uh, he can. Uh, you can identify some uh, some stuff. Maybe uh, at what height this photo has been shot? Okay, so he's not a, 
with tools that measure pixel lines without being able to analyze image with tools that measure pixel lines. So he is uh, he's not able really to measure, he is able to identify. So we are going to move to another example. Uh, we are going to move to a 3D, uh, a 3D of, uh, of a building that I found in Sketchfab, which is a platform to share uh, some 3Ds. So basically it's an axonometry like this, so perspective. And maybe I can ask him, uh, I want to ask him if you recognize, uh, if you see some painting uh, in the apartment. Uh, do you see some mural decoration in the apartment? Yes, the image you've uploaded of the apartment cross section they appear to be a mural decoration on the wall of the upper level. So this is great. The staircase, near the staircase, it's a large piece with a vibrant depiction of sunflower, which I don't know. Okay, okay. So he recognized that. Uh, but I make a test. <laughs> I made a test. Uh, he's able to count the number of steps of the stairs. Can you count the number of steps? of the stair. Mm -hmm. The staircase is partially visible. From what I can see, there are visible steps leading to the second floor. However, the bottom portion... Okay, so I think... What he says is that... Oh! <laughs> I think I I, uh, I just created a new new story. So he, he cannot really count the number of of uh, steps, uh, probably because uh, of a problem of the image itself. So now we are going to move to another example, which is a famous uh, architecture building. So we uh, we share him uh, that map. So probably you recognize it, which is the ah no he didn't say. Do you know this building? So here we have no indication about the name of the building, only some uh, room uh, name, but that's it. Okay, he, he recognized Villa Savoie, so which is uh, a house uh, situated in the suburbs of Paris in uh, Poissy, and which was one uh, famous uh, Le Corbusier house. So probably because he analyzed uh, many images uh, representing that. And here also, the quality of the image is not very good. But uh, can you list Yeah, it's also Okay, so I think here we have a problem of resolution uh, because if we zoom, we cannot really see uh, with enough detail. So I think it's necessary to have uh, higher resolution images. Uh, maybe we can ask how many uh, cars can fit, how many cars can be parked under the house. house. <laughs> The Villa Savoie was designed by Le Corbusier with... Uh... Yeah, I think he, he don't uh, use the image. Three or four car. Okay, so I, I'm not sure he, he really analyzed image. So currently he, he has some limitation. What we learn is that he has some limitation, it has some limitation. Uh, sometimes it don't uh, do the analysis because it can't, but maybe some plugin can complete the functionality. 
uh, he could identify some label, but he needs some uh, good resolution images. And now uh, we are going to terminate by a site construction site image. So it's an image of uh, of uh, Jean Nouvel uh, Philharmonie uh, in Paris also. And uh, so here I'm not sure you can recognize it. Large building with complex architecture featuring a curved structure. So the, all this is true. Uh, such as an unknown concert hall or public building. So he didn't identify it, but he, he has some clue. Uh, this um, building is situated in one of Paris' biggest park. Ah, okay. So now I give in some uh, clue because the Parc de la Villette in which the building is situated is uh, one of the biggest, uh, even the biggest park inside of Paris. Okay, so you can recognize stuff, but I think we are we are too too soon to um, to ask. Uh, so here, all this information is uh, information he in know, uh, but he cannot. Um, how many crane? there is in the image. Okay, I reach <laughs> the cap because uh, as I did a lot of try, uh, I probably have a limit because uh, I think it is resource intensive. Uh, so you have uh, still some limit. So we can uh, give a temporary uh, conclusion. So for now, it's I think uh, the fact that you could uh, analyze some image is very uh, promising. Uh, you cannot do uh, all what you want currently because probably because um, it is resource intensive. So uh, Open API is limiting what ChatGPT can do. Uh, also, maybe because he just cannot. Something clear is that he could identify some object. Wh what is uh, what? He could make the connection between this object and what you know. Uh, from uh, browsing uh, all the internet. And also, uh, he can uh, identify uh, and read even uh, some label if the label is uh, has enough resolution. So you should use a good resolution image. So for now, we didn't uh, happen to see some uh, real use case that could uh, save us a thousand of <laughs> many hours, but probably it will come. So I need also to analyze uh, the connection with ChatGPT and other plugin uh, to see what is possible. Uh, and even the fact that you, you take a photo of a complex environment and it could uh, identify some label, uh, for example, just this simple fact, um, it, could, uh, it could be uh, a good, uh, important stuff because imagine if you are in a construction site and you have some uh, some label uh, in many places, he could uh, read them in 3D. So it could be interesting. Imagine uh, you want to list stuff. I think it's a, a good uh, good tool if you want to list what's inside the image. You cannot really calculate, do some uh, some uh, some complex calculation for now, I think, inside the image, but you can identify. It. So th that was it for today. Uh, thank you to uh, see this video. And if you are interested, <coughs> that was it for today thank you to watch this video please subscribe to the channel if you are interested about ai in architecture and see you in the next video <coughs> that was it for today thank you to watch this video if you are interested in knowing more about ai in architecture please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video bye bye